Welcome to Little Steps Baking Gains and the 30 Day Stability for Mobility Channel. Welcome! It is day 17. 17. Oh, make sure you stop, draw that in the air. Visualize that number because it's amazing that you're still here. You haven't quit. Be so proud of yourself for who you are for showing up today. Sitting. Our first exercise following the research is bouncing, okay? Obviously, you can bounce on a ball, but I'll modify things in a chair for you. Okay, while I explain, we have our chin tuck. So important. Take that chin double chin, not up, not down, back. All right, hold that for me. <clears throat> Obviously, bouncing is going to be bouncing. If you're in a chair, uh, option number one is butt squeezes, just squeezing and resting. Option two is to bounce in the chair, which isn't easy. So maybe you're trying to bounce and you don't get that high. That's okay. Um, so that's a way to make it easier and more difficult. Then we'll run into ice cream cones, keeping the back straight, just doing a circle. We're not collapsing. Shoulder blades are back, abdominals are firing. Remember which way you go, because we'll be reversing. Okay, I'll walk you through upgrades, downgrades, hold on, let go, close the eyes, find the right challenge for you. All right, so we start with bouncing or butt squeezes. If you're on the chair, um, you can butt squeeze or you can bounce. I'm kind of modifying. I'm doing a butt squeeze and a mini bounce. All right, ice cream cone, back is straight to the side, back, around front. You can make this easier by holding on, maybe make your circles smaller. You can make this more difficult by letting go, eyes closed, or make your circles bigger and slower because as you go slow, you really have to hold that position. Keep your abdominals firing the whole time Stabilizing. All right, bouncing or butt squeezes, either one. I'm going to start to bounce for this one. All right, ooh, big workout. Uh, ice cream cones the other direction. Remember to keep that back straight. Maybe you're holding on, that's okay. All right, awesome job, back to bouncing. Or maybe I'm gonna just go into butt squeezes, okay? Because you can make modifications.
All right, back to ice cream cones. This is so good for us because we're shifting our weight in all directions. There's another research study that did um, on, a, on a Swiss ball. They did weight shifting side to side, forwards and backwards. This is a combination of that. All right, the other direction, we're jumping straight in because once we do this round, we'll be all done with this exercise. Amazing, amazing job with our first sitting exercise. Sitting balance exercise number two is marching. All right, I'm gonna walk you through all some different versions of marching. Okay, but while I do that, give me our posture, our elbow dig. Take those elbows, dig them back and down, squeezing the shoulder blades. We don't wanna be like this, right? We want those shoulder blades back and down. All right, hold that. Marching. One way to make it easier is by leaning back, holding on. I'm gonna challenge you, if that's easy, we're gonna go slow and try contralateral arm lifts, okay? So if you lift your, um, your left leg, okay, try to reach with your right arm and then opposite. Now, if you're struggling and all of a sudden you catch yourself doing the same side, don't get frustrated. Just, we're gonna go slow because this is good for our coordination and our motor planning. Not easy. Um, we'll be giving the legs a little bit of a break. We'll be going side to side. We'll be doing heel lifts. We'll be doing toe lifts. Um, I'll walk you through all of it. Okay, so let's start with just that marching. If you wanna add the arms, you can. Focus on opposite. Keep your core muscles activated. Should go core and then lift. If you mess up, just try to reset. Marching to the side, add that opposite arm. Keep your core muscles firing. Maybe you're trying to do in a step, try your best. We're really trying to march over. Switch sides, marching to the side and back, like you're stepping over something, maybe a bathtub, car. Abdominals are tight. 
What I mean by the car is you're stepping your legs into the car. All right, we're gonna go back to overhead. Now, if you're getting tired, lift your heel with the opposite. Heel. If you're doing okay, march it. Remember your abdominals are tight. Focus on opposites. If your legs get tired, jump into the heel lift, okay? Heel lift. Heel lift. Right, sideways, okay, march, step. Abdominals are tight. We're gonna march the other way. March, just a sideways step. overhead marching or heel lifts. If your legs are getting tired, this is our last round. Opposites. Almost there, okay. Oh, amazing job with our second sitting balance exercise for today. Standing. Okay, our first standing exercise, trunk rotation. While I walk you through the exercises, let's do that posture. Posture so important for everything. All right, for our balance, our walking, everything. So give me a robber, thumbs, back and down, all right? I surrender, but bring those uh, thumbs back and down. Hold that position. Okay, while you hold the robber, trunk rotation. We're gonna go through some cross body reaching. So taking one hand and reaching it across to rotate that trunk. Then we'll go into just looking over the shoulder, okay? The shoulder behind you, obviously, and coming back and rotate back and forth. We'll repeat those in tandem or staggered. One foot is slightly in front of the other, okay? So ways that you can make this easier. You can hold on with both hands and just alternate. You can let go. And if that's pretty easy for you, which this shouldn't be that easy because it is pretty difficult, you can close those eyes side to side. All right, now you know how to make it easier and more difficult. Let's jump in. So feet are apart, okay? And we start with that cross body reach. One hand reaches across the body and then bring it back and switch with me. And 
Good, go slow, reach across, rotate. If you go fast, that's gonna make it easier. If you go slow, it's gonna make it more difficult because of that proprioceptive loading. The whole time, your body has to counterbalance. Right, let's look over the shoulder. All right, you can put your hands wherever you want. Look over the shoulder behind you. Back to center and switch. All right, let's go into that stagger. One foot is slightly in front of the other, like your mid stance when you're walking, okay? If this is difficult, you can keep your feet apart instead. But we're gonna go ahead and do that cross body reach. So the opposite arm that's in front, that's the arm that's gonna reach across and then back, just one side. Opposite arm is the one that's reaching. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides, okay? One uh, leg back, the other leg forwards. The opposite arm reaches across the body. Try to rotate the trunk. This is a trunk rotation. Let's switch again. Switch those feet. Let's look over the shoulder. So if your right, left leg, whatever leg is forward, that's the side you're gonna look over. And come back to center. The leg that's forward, that's the leg that you're gonna look over. Leg that's forward, that's the leg you look over. amazing job. That was our trunk rotation for today. Standing exercise number two is up on heels. 
so important. But first, let's get that chin tuck in. I cannot emphasize how important chin tucks are. I really can't. All right, so chin, back and down. Not up, not down, back, double chin. Okay, hold that position. Now, up on heels. We need that toe to go up to be up on the heel because when we walk, we want that heel to strike first. If our toe is striking, it means we're dragging it. And maybe you have something called foot drop. Try your best with this. I'm gonna walk you through a whole bunch of exercises. Toes, heels, the shift and lift. Shift, lift, okay? Um, staggered, shift, lift. And then we'll go into heel walking or heel tapping. So for that, we're gonna go ahead and put all of our weight on one leg, lift the toe, strike that heel down, up, Step, heel, heel. I'll walk you through it. Ways to make this easier. Hold on, one hand, two hands. Um, let go, close your eyes. Find that right challenge for you personally. All right, that was a long chin tuck. So let's go ahead and start just heels, toes. And you can hold on no matter what for this. Um, this is more of a strength training exercise. Okay, so let's go ahead up on the toes and then up on the heels. Okay, not easy. The shift and lift. Shift all your weight and then lift the opposite toe. Shift, lift the toe. Maybe you're barely lifting it. Maybe you're trying and it's not lifting. Try your best. Okay, one foot in front of the other, like a staggered stance. Shift your weight backwards, lift the front toe. Shift and lift. Switch sides, the shift and lift, shift back, lift the opposite toe. Once again, maybe you're shifting and you're trying and it's not lifting, just keep trying. All right, ready for an amazing one? Feet apart. I'll face you. Shift, 
lift the, the toe, heel strike forwards. Toe up, step. Toe, step. Toe, step. All right? So that toe is coming up. You're striking the heel. Toe is up. Step. Toe. Toe. Because every time you're lifting that toe, you're striking the heel, okay? The exercise is technically up on the heels. We're working on that, okay? Just try your best. Really working on that heel strike. All right, let's switch sides, okay? Shift, lift the toe up. Strike, lift the toe up. Almost there. This is a fantastic exercise. Oh, amazing, amazing job with our second standing balance exercise. Stepping. Oh my gosh. I know we've been doing some stepping, um, but this is really the exercise next is tandem stepping. Okay, so while I explain, go ahead and give me the, the elbow dig. Elbows are back and down. You're squeezing your shoulder blades. Posture, posture, right? Okay, tandem stepping is what it sounds like. A tandem is one foot in front of the other like a tightrope, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna walk through. The feet will be apart, and then we'll do one leg forwards onto the tightrope. Then we'll be doing one leg backwards on the tightrope. And then we'll try our best to go from backwards to forwards, so back and forth. I'll walk you through it. Ways to make it easier, hold on with both hands. Front, sideways. Let go, one hand. Let go completely. Eyes closed. That is so, so advanced, but I have to show you constant ways to make it more difficult so you can find that right challenge. But that's super advanced. Okay, you got your elbow dig. So the first one is just stepping forwards. Okay, feet are apart. Step forwards onto the tightrope and then back. And if you're wondering, try to hold it, you know, just for a second or two, just to work on your stability. We're already ready to switch sides. The other foot, try your best, kind of like a tightrope. All right, tandem stepping backwards. Feet are apart, one leg steps back onto that tightrope, back to the side. This is not easy. Feel free to hold on. Safety first.
Okay, switch sides. Ooh, not easy. Take the other foot, step it back. Okay, back to the other foot. This time what we're gonna do is step forwards, sideways, backwards. Taking that step in between. Side, forwards, side, backwards. Go at your own pace. Ready to switch sides, forwards, side, back. Okay, the other foot, trying all the way forwards and all the way back. If you wanna take that side step in between, feel free. If not, you're doing the whole tightrope now. Switch sides, I know they're fast, a lot of sets. Forwards and backwards. Amazing, amazing job with your tandem stepping for today. Stepping exercise number two is our lunges, okay? So good for us. While I do that, while I explain, go ahead, give me some butt squeezes. Squeezing the butt maybe two to three seconds and resting. I have said over and over how important the butt is to help us stand up, to help us with our posture. A weak butt, a weak butt, no good. All right, go ahead and give me your butt squeezes. Okay, for our lunges, we're gonna be doing forwards, sideways and then backwards. You can hold on, I encourage you to if you need it. You can let go, one hand, both hands. All right, the first will be forwards lunges. The, the leg that steps, that is the knee that bends, okay? So we'll step forwards, bend that front knee, reach, and then use that front leg to power back, okay? That'll be forwards, bend, power okay to the side okay that leg is gonna point toe is gonna be pointed out but you're gonna bend and then you're gonna power okay same thing the back leg that's the leg that bends okay the back one power okay this is a power and a balance exercise all right that was a good almost one minute of butt squeezes hold on let go Let's start forwards, okay? So, it's a step, bend the front leg, power back, okay? Step, bend, power.
switch sides, okay? Step bend, power. Now these exercises are so good for balanced posture, okay? And power. There's a whole 30 day dynamic standing Tai Chi inspired balance challenge that involves these. It is so good. So that was the standing Tai Chi inspired standing balance challenge. Okay, we're gonna go to the side. Toe points out, bend the front leg, power. Toe bend, power. Switch sides with me. I'm running out of room, so I'm gonna just go this way, okay? Toe points out, power. All right, we're gonna go backwards. I can't emphasize how good these are for us. The back leg is gonna step bend and then power up. Back, bend, power. You can see you're kind of on your toe in the back. Not easy. All right, last one, switch sides with me. I'm gonna turn so you can see. That back leg is gonna bend and it's gonna power you up again. And maybe you're taking a small step, maybe you're not bending, maybe you're just stepping, and that's great. That is so good. We're still working on that stability. You are amazing. That is so not easy. Great job with our dynamic second standing balance exercise. 
congratulations. This is so exciting. You finished day 17. Not easy. Not easy at all. I'm, I always say, you know, a huge group starts these challenges and then people dwindle and dwindle and dwindle. And only those that are strong and determined and resolute, um, those are the ones that stick around. And so those are the people, the, the descriptions, the synonyms that describe you. And when you see those slides with those synonyms, you know, like I said, determined, resolute, um, strong, all of those things, resilient. Take them in and give yourself credit. Don't just look at that slide and think it's for someone else. It's for you because you are here. Take them in. Be so proud of yourself today. And then please come back because I know you can do this. Little steps together, we can make some big gains.